This is our Player of the Week analysis. Get in a lot of foul trouble. He is a smart defender. Maybe he can offer a little bit of what Grant Nelson has given Bama this year. Trey Johnson's fouled. A.J. DeBonza can't believe it. What a great individual matchup between Trey Johnson, top five in his class. A.J. DeBonza, number one in his. I didn't see a foul at all. No, I didn't either. He's got the hands up. He had the hands. Do we have a foul on this play? Let's take a look to see what we have. As a ball handler dribbler beats the primary defender to the spot, he goes up for a jump shot at the free throw line. The defender goes to A to B in the ball handler dribbler's landing space. So by all accounts, by the letter of the law, this is a foul. Let's take a look at it again. Let's watch the left knee and the left leg of our primary defender. You see how it just goes into the leg of our ball handler dribbler as he's airborne? This is a foul, correctly called by our trail official. Let's look at the positioning of both our trail and center officials. Great job of our trail officials staying connected with the on-ball matchup, which originates from its primary coverage area. We would like our center to take a right position adjustment to meet this matchup at the free throw line extended and get this foul. This is our Player of the Week analysis.